Hi everyone, this is Cheryl again. Uh, Sergey asked me to show you split pea soup and split pea soup in Ukraine is actually yellow peas. Um, they're milder, they don't have quite that kind of pea flavor that those of us that live in the States re remember the green pea. Um, and then he was at the grocery one day and actually found these little soup packets. I think they're in the German section of our grocery store. But it's a U.S. company, and it's just called Split Pea with Seasoning Mix. And so now I use these. So one packet is five cups of broth or water. And then I add some other things, which I'll kind of show you, which make it more of a Ukrainian-style soup. Okay, so the soup calls for five cups of water. Um, I'm actually going to throw in a few tablespoons of the roasted chicken better than bouillon. I like it a lot. It stays in the refrigerator. You do have to bring the water to a boil for it to dissolve, but that's easy enough to do. And if you have broth in a container, then I suggest do that as well. And then I'm also going to dice up one potato to boil. Um, and then in Ukraine and Russia, their soups, they actually do something that we in the U.S. don't normally do. And they make something called... Zazarechka. And it's fried bits. It's usually green onion, regular onion, little bits of carrot, sometimes mushroom, sometimes a chopped up tomato. And they fry those until they get crispy bits. And then those get added into the soup kind of at the very end. Um, so it gives it more flavor. And I tend to use the, the actual sunflower oil uh, that comes in a container that's from Ukraine. Uh, it's very yellow. It's not too filtered. So it has quite the sunflower flavor, which is kind of a... As something that they enjoy. So then I'll show you kind of how I throw it all together. You want your pieces fairly small on the carrot and the green onions because they're going to saute in oil. So this is the sunflower oil, patsolnichne masla that I buy, believe it or not, at Walmart. It comes from Ukraine through Canada, and it's a virgin oil, so it's not filtered. It has a lot of sunflower flavor, and it's pretty yellow in color. Uh, back in home, we use it for salad dressing quite intensively. That's my favorite salad is using sunflower oil. Because you guys don't have salad. And yeah, because we don't have salad dressing, my wife points out, and Russian salad dressing is not Russian. I can tell you that. As you see, it says product of Ukraine. It comes through Toronto, Ontario. And I used to bring it from Ukraine, but you know, they it's heavy bottles and you're afraid they're going to leak in your luggage. And totally by accident, one time I was walking through Walmart and I decided to check their oil area. Just for the heck of it, I knew there's no way it's going to be there, but it was there. It was quite an amazing, amazing experience to discover Ukrainian sunflower oil at Walmart. Okay, so I just wanted to show you how small I basically mince the carrot. Um, and the green onion, I kind of slice it down the center and then I chop it. And this was probably four or five, and this was two good-sized carrots, or medium to small. And then potatoes, totally your preference. These are not the smallest pieces, but I, this is just how I do it. So. so once the water boils, we're going to add our broth, and then we're going to simmer the peas for a while before we add the potato. And I'll just kind of show you how to go about it. So now I'm going to show you how to go about making the Zazarechka. which is the fried bits that are going to go in the soup at the end. Now the soup takes approximately, they say about an hour. I don't think it quite takes that long. So again, here's our sunflower oil. And as you can see, I've done a pretty generous amount. Um, then I'm going to warm it up and as it starts to heat up, I'm going to add the carrot and onion and saute it over about a medium heat. And it takes quite a while because I want the carrot to soften, but then I also want everything to get a little bit brown. And I'll show you the process in the middle and then at the end. Okay, water's boiling. I'm gonna add a pretty good scoop of this. Usually do one teaspoon per cup of water. I don't want it to be too overly chicken-based. So probably a good tablespoon's going in. 
And then once this dissolves, then I will add the soup base. Now this does have a flavor packet, which Sergey and I will put in the video so that you can figure out if you want to purchase it or just get your own uh, split yellow and green peas. It looks like all that they have in here really is maybe some type of a thickening agent, uh, both kinds of peas, little cornstarch, onions, sugar, yeast extract, canola oil, celery seed, sodium bicarb, and white pepper. So not really overly necessary, but if you can find it, we just found that it adds a really nice flavor. So an Americanized version of their split pea soup. But I will tell you that my son probably would choose uh, Babalena, his grandmother's soup over mine, so. <laughs> All right, I think we're just about there. So now I'm just gonna dump this in. And as you can see, it's just split peas, both different kinds, almost chopped if you will. And then you just kind of want to turn it down and you're going to simmer it for, I think their directions are about an hour. Uh, five cups to a boil, add the contents of the bag, cover tightly and simmer on low for an hour or until tender. Um, and then you season, they have a packet of that seasoning, you can add the last 10 minutes of cooking. Um, you can also add chicken or meat, and then obviously I don't add meat, uh, we do the veggies. So, And when these are probably 20 minutes from being done, I'll throw the potatoes in as well. Okay, I just wanted to show you that our... Zazarechka. ...is coming along nicely. So again, this was the carrot and the green onion, and I put it in a decent amount of the sunflower oil. And it's probably been in here for, I don't know, maybe close to 10 minutes. Um, so just kind of a medium heat, and you just want to keep stirring it. But you can see what I mean by it starts to get little brown bits, and this is what we want. So this is almost there, but I even wanted a little bit more brown for flavor. Not burnt, but nicely browned. And then, of course, the carrot pieces will be tender. So, but this is about there. And in Ukraine, quite often we add pieces of lard, pork fat, Salo, and it makes it even better. It has a little crunchy pieces of like bacon type of stuff. So again, you could add a little bit of meat, pancetta, bacon. So the soup has been on kind of a lower heat, basically simmering for 20 minutes maybe, maybe not even quite that long. Still has a way to go, but you just kind of keep checking it. And as this gets nice and soft, your peas then we're going to add our potato and so about an hour roughly they recommend I guess it would depend on how low you go so lid on make heavy stock pot and you just kind of let it go and check it every 10-15 minutes okay so the peas are nice and tender so I've added the potato I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit and I'm also going to add in the little spice packet that came with and again, I don't think there's a lot in here. It's mostly pepper, a little thickening agent. Um, and if the soup gets too thick, I'll actually add some water to it because Sergey prefers a broth soup. So all you need to do is just keep cooking until the potatoes are tender. And then I'll add in the... Zazarechka. And I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so the pea soup is basically ready. Potatoes are almost tender. So I'm going to add in our crispy bits here. It's called zazarechka. And you just kind of throw them in at the last minute and then let their flavor kind of meld with the pea soup. And honestly, it's kind of a game changer. I do this for most soups now, so it was a really great tip. And then you can see. And in Ukraine, in season, they do add a lot of fresh herbs, so you could add fresh dill if you wanted to. I don't happen to have any, but you certainly can if you have any on hand. And that is your pea soup.
love my channel and would like to show your support, please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Oshanka Show. For as little as one dollar, you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life in Soviet Union.